welcome to footballgameplan.com where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook. Joined here with our senior draft analyst, Chris James. And now that the 2014 NFL draft is complete, Chris, let's take a look back and hand out some draft grades. We're going to take a look at the Detroit Lions to see how well Detroit did this past weekend. The Houston Texans owned the first pick in every round coming into the draft with a good chance to make a good team despite their 2013 record a lot better. What I liked most about the Texans draft was the first three rounds Houston bolstered both sides of the line of scrimmage with four picks defensively adding arguably the two top defensive linemen in the draft in Jadevian Clowney out of South Carolina and Lewis Nix the third out of Notre Dame. Clowney in my honest opinion is more Lawrence Taylor than he is Bruce Smith and would be best served as a stand up edge rusher at the next level while Lewis Nix at 6'2", 345 is athletic enough to play anywhere on the defensive interior in addition to the nose tackle position. I also liked offensively getting a versatile offensive lineman in Xavier Suafilo out of UCLA who can play both guard and tackle and C.J. Fedorowicz, a classic inline tight end out of Iowa that's also a very good and dependable pass catcher. What I questioned was rounds four through seven. It looks as though the momentum stopped with the Tom Savage selection, and quite frankly, there are much better options on the board. In round two, let's just say if they didn't go Suafilo, quarterback Derek Carr out of Fresno State was there for the taking. In round four, David Fells out of San Jose State, as well as A.J. McCarron out of Alabama was there, and you work your way down through the rounds. At each position, there were much more quality guys on the board that would have been, in my honest opinion, much better fits for Houston. Max Bolo out of Michigan State just looks like a linebacker. He was highly productive for the Spartans, and his instincts were the reason why he was in and around a lot of plays throughout the course of his collegiate career. This is a good place for him to excel. Another very good collegiate star is Marcus Williams out of North Dakota State. He has elite ball skills, who has six intercept returns for touchdowns in his career. Williams is a guy that I had a second-round grade on that plays a lot, like Asante Samuel. I also like defensive tackle Julius Wormsley out of Tulane. He's quick off the ball and showcases a variety of moves. I think as a five technique, he could do well in Romeo Cornell's defense. I gave the Texans a B for their draft defensively and up front offensively. They got a lot better. The jury is still out on their quarterback situation, but when you look at the first four selections along with some of the undrafted free agents, this has the makings of a very solid class. And I also want to give a huge shout out to Texans fan forums for always showing football game plan support.